Welcome to another Transformers Arcade Review! Hey guys, today I thought I'd review the Transformers second movie, Re Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class, Optimus Prime. Yes, I've had this guy for about, uh, I don't know, uh, pretty close to a month, three weeks a month. I don't know why I haven't reviewed him yet, but uh, now I am. Um, I apologize in advance if I seem to be, uh, I don't know what's it called, but dragging in air, you know, through my nose since uh, I'm a pollen allergic. So, and it's summer here and it's just really a lot of pollen. So, let's get started. This mode is uh, like the god against this guy, this second movie. I, I like the windshields a little bit better than this one. But uh, this one is a hell of a lot better and a lot more complex, which makes it a lot more fun to transform. So, looks pretty much exactly like the old one, except it's uh, a little bit smaller. A bit more slim, and you know, roof is different. It's a the same height in the smokestacks. It's the same length. It's just the form that's a little bit uh, different. Let's go and have a better look. Yeah, you can see a bit of the differences. So they're pretty much the same size. Except this one is so much better! God! Uh, yeah, let's get to maybe a transformation. Um, I don't know if they're gonna make a trailer to this one. I think they will. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Optimus Prime had a trailer in the second movie. Uh, no, no, wait. No, it, no, I didn't. Uh, he was in a trailer. Uh, never mind. So. The flames are pretty much the same, and they look goldish. The only thing they've changed pretty much is the form and the transformation. Okay, so maybe we should get started. And the reason why I'm starting off in this form, because it's easier to transform from this form to the robot, instead of the opposite. So, let's just grab the under, under the tank thingy, so, uh, sound. Lower or whatever it's called, and just pull up like this. So he has his super duper wings. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's turn this guy around. Take it all that way down there. Open this little part. Rotate them a little bit, and you see they have a little bit, a little peg there. It's going into that hole. So it's just to get it up there and. Pop it in. Simple. Do the same thing to the next side. Okay. Uh, uh, we can leave this part for a little while. Just take a little quick and pop this up. From there, take the peg out of the hole. And let's start off in the front a bit. Oh, yeah, and this review will be a two parter. Uh, I don't really know where to begin here, so I just. Take it right off the middle. And if I may say, it's uh, the transformation of this toy and the first movie transformation when you first see Optimus Prime transform in this alley. Uh, it's very accurate. You know, the arms are right here, the hands. So you can see it when you transform, they like go out. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's just try to separate the parts. I don't really know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm beginning with. Ah, let's just pull this stuff out. Oh yeah, and these, uh, I don't know what they're called, the things up above the windows, they are very flexible. Just so you can form them later on. And as I told you, here's the hand, that comes out. Okay, let's see. Come on, get out. 
as I said it's a very complex transformation and you should be careful when you're transforming this guy the transforming this guy the first time because the instructions doesn't really help that much yeah at least I had to guess big parts of it okay let's take and do this quick I will probably not explain that much because I see the time is running away I'm only on six minutes already so here's this head which is very accurate to the movie and it does this sound Optimus Prime uh, I heard on the toys both in the USA he says I am Optimus Prime this guy just says Optimus Prime Optimus Prime that sucks I got ripped off of a word damn it will take it this arms and just fold them right up just swing him up and here's where it all gets pretty bulky because there's so much parts in the way yes hello as you can see he has two swords in this uh, mode in his robot mode as in the movie which is awesome I like the swords take and rotate these take uh, the hurting us snap them in drag it back like that I'll see if we can turn the arms the right way yes. oh yeah right take these pieces up which looks also a lot better than the first movie here we go now it's starting to take shape okay I complained this that this sword uh, usually it pops out because uh, this stuff is in the way so we can't really get uh, attached properly uh, let's just do a little quick with the other side if we can come on you want to get out you know you want to there we go it would be pretty nice if this sword could be taken off that would be pretty good because since it gets so much in the way so sometimes you have to pop it out okay let's take it back in if I can okay um what to do now should just take this part here you see this uh, little piece they go into th this dark area you just pop them in be careful when you try to pop them out because they like to you know get type of stuck in there pretty bad let's see if we can get it done okay something seems to be wrong let's see something is blocking oh oh yeah here's like the uh, piece of the door panel that should be folded in a little bit not fully what the f let's put them back as far as I can so I can get this over with and then you get in there and this piece gets pretty folded in there we go finally okay I can see I'm starting to run out of time yep so I'll just I'll make a quick link to part two and I'll probably take and transform this guy almost done okay uh, let's see I just do a little bit more oh damn it now I forgot a piece as I said very complex there we go okay <sighs> So I'll see you in part two, I guess. Uh, be right with you.